So there was a bit of an issue of running um, QMaster system prefs in Yosemite. Um, this was essential for running a, a virtual cluster or quick cluster um, for compressor with Final Cut Pro 7, Final Cut Studio 3. So installed all that stuff um, and then to set up QMaster um, you'd normally hope to go into system prefs and load it this way but what we were finding was clicking on that it would kind of close down straight away or it would refuse to open at all in here. I think the same problems were called in Mavericks and the solution there seemed to be to edit in terminal to set up the QMaster so that's something I just quickly did just here so here's the code that I eventually ended up finding was working so I'll copy and paste that within the description of this video um, but running that so here just a quick, quick breakdown here key must press cluster on here's the server name where I've specified the quick cluster server name I've specified the service compressor processing on uh, sharing on instances two that's the number of calls so this is on a MacBook Pro that's got two calls so it's only set to two in fact I probably won't run it on this MacBook Pro, but this is a bit of testing prior to converting my Mac Pro to Yosemite if I do at all, um, which I probably will do because Final Cut Studio, Final Cut Pro 7 seems to work okay. Rendering on, in fact I didn't even use that, I think that's something from Ocean, but I've left it on anyway. And then finally, you just need to do a QMaster Press Reset Cluster, and that kind of resets it, and then you should then find that you've got it available within Compressor. So going back to Compressor, here it is. Where is it there? And I've got a file I want to convert just to H264, so I'll click Submit. I'll choose the quick cluster. So I've now got this in addition to this computer that's just kind of uses one core, um, whereas this one will both cores. But this one uses both cores independent of each other to break up the video and then compress it in a shorter amount of time. So I'll choose that one, Submit. So I'm just going to go to Batch Monitor and you'll see here it is. It's processing. Preparing. Now, if I just open up Activity um, Activity Monitor as well, you'll see. So compressor transcoding X, and then we'll see this splits out to two. There it is, one and two. Um, give it a second, and we'll see that um, Batch Monitor ramps up. It split the video down to one, two, three, four, five parts. Sorry, four parts and audio. And it, so it's sent one to call one, and here's the one second one to call two. So from 11, 11 minutes to 14 minutes to call two. And that seems to be working fine. So um, so it looks like you can start up Keymaster from the terminal. Once it's running, it's running. You don't need to worry about it again. But to change your preferences, you can also change from terminal as well. So hopefully this should help us out.